Hey everybody, Kendall Black Obis. Uh, I want to explain to you the, the Merino lineup, each different series, as well as some of the changes we made for 2022. In the past, our Merino was called the NWT, which is stand for Northwest Territories. We had the 150, 250, and, uh, 200 and the 250. We've changed that and added names to each series. And we've also changed things with sizing and content of Merino and other fabrics and updated some, some elements that, that I'll, I'll dive into right now. We have the Venture Series, which is the lightweight 150. It's 95% Merino, 19.5 micron, very, very soft to the skin, 5% spandex. The Tuscarora Series, which is the mid-weight, that's your 200 weight. This is a little different because we've taken, instead of doing a Merino spandex content, we've actually got a Merino nylon mix. And what it is, is it's a, it's a technology called Duraspun Merino. They take, what they do is they take a, a nylon thread and wrap that with the Merino. What that does is we take the, the New Zealand 19.5 micron Merino, very, very soft, wrap that around the, the nylon. It creates a base, which is both strength and durability and long-term, especially in those high contact areas like elbows, if you're wearing a pack a lot, uh, in the leggings, like in between the legs, knees even, those areas oftentimes will wear out, tear. Uh, you've probably had that happen. I mean, this stuff doesn't last a lifetime. It will last a while uh, in heavy use. But the 200 weight, that Tuscarora, ends up coming out to 87% Merino, 13% nylon, a very different uh, weave and also different fabric content that we've used in the past. In the heavyweight, we have two pieces, the top and the bottom. This is the Keel series. And the Keel is a 250 weight Merino. It's 100% Merino. It's very heavyweight, but what we've done is on the inside, as you'll see as you check out some of the content, in the inside of this is is what's called a, terry wo a woven terry or a French terry woven. This creates little loops inside the fabric. What that does is it elevates the merino from the base of it, creating little air pockets. So this acts similar to like down, where it, it traps air and heats that air within the material. That provides more warmth to weight ratio. So really the, the 250 keel behaves more like a 290 or 300 without that extra just weighing you down. If you've ever worn a very heavy merino or a, or a wool jacket, boy, it's like, it's ounce per ounce, very, very heavy. So this is the entire lineup. One of the things that we heard from customers though, that we changed in this new lineup between you know, Venture, Tuscarora, and Keel is the sizing. We, we know we were building an athletic sizing before. We went back to the sizing block and altered that somewhat so that it's more of a natural size fit rather than a tight athletic. Comments that we heard from customers it, both on our product reviews as well as just guys call, calling in talking to our gear guides or guys coming in the storefront here in Salt Lake would say, hey, I love your Merino product. The only problem is the fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss on the, the 150 weight uh, uh, T-shirt that I, I use all the time. In fact, I used it this last week, elk hunting here in Utah. That's my base layer go-to. I'm gonna try that on in the former version and the new version to give you a little bit better visual of what I'm talking about with respect to the sizing. This is the Merino, the 150 NWT from the past. This is a size large. I'm six foot four, 195. I really like a more trim fit on this particular piece. So that's why I went with a large. I normally wear t-shirt wise, I wear a large, but I don't dry them. If I know I'm gonna put a t-shirt through the dryer and then I use them in, uh, I wear an extra large. So that gives you a little bit of comparison. Let me toss on the new Venture 150 in the large size and you can see, see the difference. First off, you can see this is definitely more, more loose, more of a real proper fit. This is more t-shirt style for me than, than the 150 of the past. And I wouldn't wear that 150 just like casually every day. But man, this is so dang comfortable. I would wear this literally every single day as just a just a everyday wear. The other thing that I can tell is it's long. Again, I I am six foot four, so this is this is ample length. Like if you're if you've complained in the past or, or you you don't like a merino base layer that you you're moving and everything throughout the day and all of a sudden it's untucked, I don't think you have any problem with this. I can feel that this is softer and it does feel a little lighter weight, like more airy, but I'm really excited for the way that this fits versus the old one. Let me, tr let me show you the difference between the, the half zip hoodie now, which is a piece I use all the time. 
This is the extra large. So in the, in the 150 NWT, I went to an extra large in the, in the long sleeve, A, just because it wasn't so tight, and B, obviously give me a little bit of room to layer underneath. So the, the extra large, this is a little beat up. I got pine sap all over it. So you can see kind of how that fits. Again, six foot four, 195. I typically wear either a large or an extra large t-shirt, depending on if I'm gonna dry it or not dry it. This is the extra large in the new Venture Series 150. And you can, as you can see, much more roomy, more true to an extra large size. And for long arms, man, I'm loving this. If you're a lot shorter than six foot four, you might find that this is a little bit long in some of the arms. Very roomy, extraordinarily comfortable. Um, you could wear this casually, fly fishing, doing whatever, any other activity you'd like to do. I hope this video has been very helpful in, in helping you understand our entire lineup, the differences between Venture, Tuscarora, and Keel, the sizing, the care. If you've got any questions about our Merino product or would like to talk to one of our gear guys, give us a call. Check us out on blackovis.com or click one of the links in the, in the video description below. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We're always coming out with really good information about not just the Black Ovis product, but all the different high-end and top, top of the market gear that we offer here on blackovis.com. Thanks very much for checking in.